Okay, so it's in, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Lumigo Rumi Bobos, which are designed by me. And, um, so the bank count is, this is roughly, um, the bank count. It's, um, just including the, the boba drink, not including the black bands for the boba and the face, just the whole drink, including the straw. I got about 142 bands in all. That's like rough, so I'm pretty sure that's not right. Hopefully it's somewhere between there, I don't really know. So yeah, um, and you're gonna be needing um, any kind of hook, you can use a crochet hook. I'm just using my rainbow loom hook, um, a stitch marker. And if you wanna do the face, you're gonna need some beads, and I just hot glued all the mouth. And if you want to put on cheeks, also, um, some pink bands. Um, and for the boba drink color flavor, I'm going to be using this, like, mango neon orange. Well, it looks really different on camera, but from, like, Michael's. Um, and then I'm going to be using white for the rim. On other ones, I used clear to see how the clear would look, and I don't really like it as much as the white one. I also did a clear straw on this one, but I still like it. It's just not my favorite. And also, the clear is like the rainbow loom clear is like bigger, so the lid looks a bit bigger. So just think about that before you make it. Um, and this lid looks a bit different. You can see like pink on the top of the drink because this was like my first one, but then I ended up fixing it and redoing it. So this will be the final product. So it will not look, have this, this pink color there. So yeah, um, and I think that that is it. Um, I want to show you, yeah, I've made a bunch of them. I'm probably going to be selling these on Etsy. Um, my Etsy is in the description if you want to make, if you want to, like, check it out or purchase anything. I have to figure out where to put these now, because I just have so many. And I don't want any of the smells to fall off of them, because usually when you hot glue them, they fall off. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, I'm going to be showing you how to, like, do the eyes. So, I just grab... Um, like dental floss, or you can use string, it's like really thin string, and I'm gonna grab my bead, if you want to see where I get my beads from, it's in the community thing on my channel, I'm gonna put the thread through this hole, Ooh. Like that. Then I'm gonna grab my boba color. This is a really pretty color. I haven't used it yet, and it's really pretty. Okay. So I'm gonna thread it through there and pull it back so it looks like this. Then I'm gonna put it back through the hole. Sometimes they like frays, so you need to like use your mouth to keep it down and then pull it through there. And here is the bead. So that's one eye. I'm gonna do the other one with you. I'm really happy that I am making a tutorial. I'm probably gonna make more tutorials during the springtime. So this is just the same thing that we did before, obviously. Oh my god, it's like, it's like frying. This is like not working out. Okay, pull it through. I do have some tutorials that I really want to do, like the penguin. That I said I would post to, like, about two months ago. 
So I don't know if I'll ever get to that. I know that I said that I would do the Christmas sack, but I didn't write down the pattern, so. Oops. <laughs> but I probably will do a tutorial for the big donut. Oh my god, why is this like fraying? Oh my god, watch me like, struggle. Ugh. Okay, got it. Alright, so that's just the eyes. And again, for like the smile, you can um, just hot glue it. Okay? Also, you need like a straw color, which I don't really recommend to make the straw the same as the lid. You can like have fun with the straw. You can make it like yellow, but honestly, like the green. So, whatever. And you can. <laughs> Last thing, and you can also make this like a soft drink. I know that back, way back, like a few, like in my first video, when I was doing like the fast food items, I said that would make a soft drink. This is honestly it. You can turn this into a soft drink. You don't even need the boba. You can just fix the straw, make it a little bit skinnier because boba straws are a bit thicker. Anyways, so let's get started. Um, I'm not gonna really be explaining how to do Lumi Gurumi in love. You should know the basics, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna grab my hook. I'm gonna like zoom in a bit. I'm gonna grab my hook. And I'm going to go with band and wrap and to get my pattern. I'm gonna do a triple cat band, wrapping around one, two, and then three times like that. Then I'm gonna put six stitches in here. So just pull it through. Okay, that was one, and I'm just gonna go back through. Two. Three. Four. Five. Then last one would be six. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. So, this, so instead of putting my stitch marker on here, I do it differently. I'm gonna send it go into the first stitch and make a stitch. Then put the stitch marker on my hook, on the band on my hook. Okay. Um, you could probably do it the other way, but this is just the way that I like to do it. Um, so this way we're just going to increase around, and at the end of this you should have 12 stitches. So I'm going to go back into that loop and just make another stitch. It's two stitches in each stitch until you go back to the stitch marker. These bands are like plasticky, which I was um, actually making another project with again, another color of these bands, and like a band was like almost broken, and I almost used it, and that would not have been good. So like these aren't the best bands, but I kind of like the texture of them. It's like all these bands are like broken. I don't understand why.
Okay, so I'm back at the stitch marker. And instead of going through the whole entire thing, I'm just going to go through the inner loop. and make a stitch, and then put it on my hook. So you should have 12 stitches after this, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this row we're just going to do all singles, but we're just going to go through the inner loop. Okay, so like not like the whole entire stitch. This just makes it so the bottom is flat, like an actual drink. Sorry, I just thought while well, that other band was teared, or was tearing. This is honestly a really easy design. Again, I've made like eight of these so far. This is my ninth one, and it's just, it's honestly just easy and fun to make. I was like really bored yesterday, and I just... I was like, why not make a bunch of bobas? Even though it wasn't even on my list, I have just like, been wanting to make this design for a while. Okay, so I'm back at the stitch marker, and instead of going through the, um, the inner loop, I'm going to go through the whole entire one, make a stitch, and then put it back on my hook. Okay, so then we're just going to do five single rows around with your boba color, and come back to me when you have done that. Okay, so I have done five rows, and I told you should have done six, because the bottom row where we went through the inside loop row counted as one so if you lost count there's a way to do it you can like count like court like um why is it not focusing you can count um diagonal so you can see where we went through the inside loop so if you count the stitch so one two three four, then five, then six, okay? And I forgot to mention that you also need stuffing, some sort of custom stuffing, okay? So now we're gonna do the lid. So I'm back at the stitch marker. I'm gonna go through the band with the stitch marker on it and I'm gonna grab my lid color, which is white. And I'm gonna do a slip stitch, color change, okay? and then putting the stitch marker back on my hook. In this row, we're just gonna do um, it all single, but just in your lid color, going through the whole entire stitch. At the end of this row, you should still have 12. I'm just gonna do this with you because I have to like, um, put it in like iMovie to like merge the clips together and it just takes like forever to like wait for the clips to save to my phone and then I have to upload it to YouTube so like I don't know I guess it's just honestly faster this way I feel like this like isn't focusing at all and I don't know why Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so I can focus. Okay, so once I'm back at the stitch marker, I'm gonna go through the band with the stitch marker and I'm gonna pull it through everything and then just tie off. Don't tie it too tight because we have to like undo it, but I'm just gonna tie it so it just stays 
I'm gonna take my stitch marker out. I'm just gonna like shape it a bit or whatever. Okay, so this part we're just gonna be doing the lid. So it's gonna be like the top. So I'm gonna go to where my tying band is and it's gonna look like a band where it's gonna be tied off. We're gonna skip that and just go through the one where there's like nothing. So it's gonna like look like that. I'm just gonna go through that stitch. And I'm gonna go through it like this from the inside. I'm not gonna go through the outside. I'm just gonna go through the inside. I'm gonna grab a lid color band and make a stitch. I'm gonna go back through that stitch. And do another one. And we're just gonna do that all the way around. Just increasing until we get back to that tying band. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. I think this is just a design where you can make so much of it. Or maybe I just think that it's like an easy design because I've just made it so many times. Because I feel like once I make a design, the first time I make a design, um, it's like, it's like embedded in my brain, but then I forget it like a few days later and I like don't like write it down, so then I end up not making a tutorial for it, but I did make this yesterday, so it's pretty fresh in my brain, which is good. I also did write it down. The pattern will also be in the, in the description, if I didn't say that in the, in the beginning, but the lid part will not be in the description because I have no idea how to write this down words. Like, I know that some people like write this down like explaining how to like do like difficult parts like this but like i have no clue how to like write these down like how, like 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 how do i explain how to do this in writing like you know so if you like hear so i feel like people would get like mad because they have to like watch the video but like sorry <laughs> like i have no clue how to explain this in like words so Oops, I just have to deal with it. <laughs> I feel like it's impossible to explain that. And plus, like, even if I did, I feel like people, like, wouldn't, like, understand it. You know, like, go through the, the inner loop or whatever. <laughs> whatever, okay. So, I should have, like, two things left. I'm just gonna go through here, and I'm just gonna make one stitch. And I'm gonna undo this tying band with my hook. Like that. And I'm gonna pull it through everything. And then I'm gonna just retie it off and tie it tight. Because that is not gonna. Because we're done with that. That's gonna stay like that, okay? So it should look like this. It should have like a lid. It's gonna look a bit weird because you have to stuff the stuff it. So this is the part we're going to stuff it, because we're going to, after this, we're going to close it up. So I'm going to just grab a little bit of stuffing and just pull it through. I think this is also, like, the easiest thing to stuff as well. Okay, I, like, just like to shape it up and I stuff it. See how it looks better now? Now that it is stuffed. If you do hear any like weird background noises, that is my dog. Okay. So it is stuffed. You can like play around with it. See, it now looks better now that it's stuffed. So I feel like for some designs, you don't need stuffing, but with this, I feel like it really needs it. Okay, so now. Um, we're gonna close this up so it's like the lid, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go, this, I don't really know how to explain either, but I'm just gonna go through here like this, like that, okay? And I'm just gonna make a stitch, and I'm gonna do that all the way around until we get back to there. So 
So again, I'm just going to go through here like this. And like I said, hopefully you can like see like what I'm doing and like understand, oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. I feel like this is like the, um, whatever it's called, um, donut tutorial because it's just, there's like so many hard things to explain in it, you know? Anyways, so yeah. I swear to God, he, he, he like literally never barks. And now when I'm finally filming a tutorial, my like first tutorial of the month, he barks. <laughs> like he never barks. Like ever. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Okay, so once I am back there, you're gonna have like this like weird tiny stitch, and I'm just gonna go through that stitch. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because usually we would skip that and go to here because it, this really isn't a stitch, but I'm gonna go through that and I'm gonna make a stitch on it. And then I got my stitch marker and put it on the band on my hook, okay? So this row, we're just gonna do single decrease. So that was a single. This one, we're gonna do a decrease, and a decrease is just going through the inner loop and then the outer loop, and stitching them together. And then just do that all the way around till we get to the band, so. Single. Decrease. Single decrease single decrease then last one we're gonna do a single and then the band on your hook where you're just gonna do another single okay so i'm gonna take it off and i'm not gonna even bother to put it back on i'm just gonna decrease till this is closed so i can't do any more basically So this is my last one. I'm just gonna go through them and then I'm gonna grab a band and pull it through everything and pull it tight. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hide this band. It should look like a mushroom. I'm just gonna hide, go through here. I'm just gonna hide it. Basically you just pull it so it's like flat like that. also hide this band as well. Okay, so that is your lid. You can like shape it how you want it to. Okay, perfect. Okay, and I feel like it can also stand maybe. 
That's kind of on the edge, but... Okay, so now I'm gonna grab... My green color. I don't know. Obviously don't have it on hand right now, so... I'm gonna grab, like... The same... Electric glow. Yeah, I thought that looks cute. Ew, I did hair. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's grab some... Green bands. I'm just gonna go to like the center here and I'm just gonna pick a spot where I want to put the straw. So I'm just gonna go here and like go here. Okay. And I'm gonna go up, grab two green bands. And do this six times. So that was one. Two. Three. Four. Then six, and then I'm gonna grab this band and pull it through here and pull it tight. Okay, and then I'm just gonna weave it through. My bands to hide that this tying off band. Push it down. Okay. So it looks like this. Alright, so we're basically done. And you can, like, leave it like this. Or you can put a face on it. So now we're just gonna do the features now. So I'm gonna put on the eyes first. Because it's gonna be easier to do it when you put on, like, the boba, so, um, this is where you can make, like, a soft drink, because honestly, it looks like a soft drink, so, probably not gonna do a tutorial on um, that, so, I'm just gonna pick a spot for the eyes, I'm gonna go, like, about here, I'm gonna grab my eye bands, and I'm just gonna put them on, Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. And put them on. Okay, so now we know like where the eyes are. And now I'm just gonna basically um, put a bunch of boba. Okay, this doesn't have to like there's not a specific place to put it. I just put it on the bottom. Because, like, now I know, like, where the eyes are. So now I can just, like, randomly put... I'm getting a lot of notifications. Okay. I'm just going to randomly put it on the bottom. So I'm just going to, like, go here. How I do the boba is I'm just going to get a black band. Or you can use, like, any color. Because it's just not tapioca pearls. You can do, like, popping boba, too. That would be honestly really cool. And I'm just going to basically make a slip knot and, like, not pull it too tight. I'm just gonna, like, leave it like that. And we're just gonna hide them when I, we're done. Or tuck in the tails when we're done. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, randomly put the boba or the black bands just in really random spots. around, like, the bottom of it. it. There's, like, no specific way to put this, because obviously, boba isn't, there's, like, no symmetrical 
way how to do this. Just randomly put up, because no boba is the same, or have the, like, the same amount in a drink, so, yeah, it's not that deep. <laughs> okay. So, once I put, like, a good amount, I'm just gonna hide the tails, and I'm just gonna go in through there, basically just hide them in there so it looks like that. Okay. Okay, could probably put more in the back, but in the front looks good. Alright, so it looks like that. So cute, okay. So now I'm just gonna show you how to do the cheeks, and if you want to put on a smile, you can just hot glue it. In my pair tutorial, I show you how to hot glue on the smile. It's just you put a dot of hot glue, you cut a black band, and you put a dot of hot glue on that, and you just stick it on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab some pink bands from the cheeks. I'm gonna pick a nice spot for the cheeks near the eye. And I'm going to do that. And I'm gonna hide the eye band here. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side. Alright, and then I would obviously get my hot glue gun and put a dot right there. Okay, so that is your boba. If you make them, I have like nine. Now I'm gonna get all of them. And these are gonna be listed on my Etsy like I said in the beginning. So if you wanna like, don't feel like making it, but you really like this design, Um, you can check my Etsy store out. Um, these may not be all posted on, um, I think that it is already posted, but there's, like, only three posted. So, yeah. Um, okay. So that is basically it. Um, if you make them, please share pictures with me. I would really appreciate if you would subscribe, like the video and stuff. And, yeah. I think that that is it. And comment down below like what tutorial or like what you want me to make next. I know that I said I would make the penguin and the big donut and the Christmas sack, but I don't really know if I'm gonna be making the penguin or the Christmas sack yet. Definitely wanna do the big donut, but I still have to write down that pattern and I made it over like a month ago. But I think I know how to do it. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And I will see you in the next one, bye.